Hey guys, Hop here. It's been a while since we talked about the glorious AR9 platform on this channel, but I have two things you might be interested in seeing. One is a surprisingly functional AR9 build that I actually really enjoy and like shooting, which I'm sure is quite a shock on its own. And the other is the new Maxim Defense Roller Delayed 9mm AR buffer system. This is a captured buffer system, kind of similar to almost all the other self-contained buffer systems on the market, except this one turns a straight blowback 9mm AR into a roller delayed 9mm AR, at least in theory. So in addition to serving as the buffer weight and action spring for the AR9, this also has a series of rollers on the inside that are supposed to delay the opening of the action. That should make it quite a lot more pleasant to shoot. It also should make it better for use with a suppressor. This gun cannot be suppressed because this is actually an integral flash hider barrel. There's really nothing we can do about that, but we should still see quite a lot of difference between that and a regular buffer spring and buffer weight setup. So what's in there right now is an extended super heavy 9mm buffer. That's required. You need to have a whole bunch of weight in the system in order to uh, make it essentially safe to shoot and reliable. You also need to have an extended buffer because it takes up the additional space in the upper receiver that isn't taken up by the movable bolt head on a traditional AR-15. This is way heavier than a traditional AR buffer weight. You know, uh, H3 buffer, for example, is like a little bit over five ounces, I believe. This one is a medium weight nine millimeter buffer and it's, I don't know, something like eight ounces. They go all the way up to 10 ounces, maybe even more than that. So quite a lot more weight reciprocating in the back. Also, the bolt carrier group is a lot heavier because they usually have weights in them as well. If you're using the Maxim Defense Roller Delay Buffer System, not only can you reduce the amount of reciprocating mass in the buffer tube, you can also remove the additional weight from the bolt carrier group. In fact, you actually have to because otherwise it would get in the way of the guide rod that sits in the middle of the captured buffer system. That does mean it's not going to be compatible with every 9mm bolt carrier group on the market. For example, in here right now is the coveted Aero EPC9 bolt carrier group. Yes, they do exist. And this actually has a solid weight attached to the back end of a shortened bolt carrier group instead of just an inside weight that's pinned in place. So this one will not work with the Maxim. We're going to shoot it first with this and the traditional spring setup. Then plop in the Maxim and switch over to my KVP bolt carrier group, which has had the buffer weight removed. So it'll work with the Maxim. All right, let's see if it goes. In an attempt to be maybe a little bit more fair, or more direct, I'm actually going to use the KVP bolt carrier group for both tests. So it doesn't have the additional weight in there, but this extended heavy buffer is a little heavier than the one I used to have. So it should actually balance out pretty well. Let's see if this thing actually runs. It works. And it feels, you know, like an AR-9. And now, a word from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by the dudes over at Eclipse Armory. They are my ammo sponsor, and you could be their money sponsor in exchange for some ammo of your own, because that's how commerce works. Anyway, there's a link to their website in the link tree in the video description. Go check them out, buy some ammo from them, then you get ammo to shoot, and they will continue to support me by giving me ammo to shoot. That's really the only way that this works. The ammo has to come from somewhere. So, thank you guys. Thanks, Clips Armory. Let's get back to the video. Now we have swapped to the Maxim Defense Roller Delayed Buffer. You can definitely feel that there's an initial like hesitation to charge. You've got to overcome those rollers. But then the actual weight of the spring in the buffer seems to be a little bit less. So, more force required initially, but then a little bit less after that. Anyway. Here goes nothing. Wow. That feels a lot better. Interesting. We have had a weird failure. It locked open on the last, or second to last round. Pooped a live round into the chamber. Just let it sit there. Interesting. Seems like every time I change parts on an AR-9, it has to break in all over again. It's like all the parts have to sort of wear in. Whew. 
So recoil impulse is still not on par with, you know, a roller delayed gun like an MP5. Um, it's not as light and as smooth as something like the CMMG radial delay system, but it still cycles faster and more in line than an MP5. So that's the nice thing about MP5s. They're very comfortable to shoot, even if they don't cycle blazingly fast. This thing definitely cycles a little bit slower than the CMMG radial delay compact action, which is very fast cycle, very snappy impulse, similar to like the uh, SIG MPX. Those cycle very fast and they don't have a whole lot of uh, movement in the action. So they have significantly less recoil impulse, but it's also snappier. This is more weight than that, similar level of snap. But the difference between that and the regular buffer is pretty substantial. All right, guys, apologize for being so sweaty, but it's very hot out here and I refuse to wear short pants or short sleeves, so I'm just gonna have to push through the moisture, if you will. So, Maxim Defense Roller Delayed AR9 Buffer System. Does it work? It would certainly seem to work. Not only does it do what it claims it's going to do, which is substantially reduce the recoil impulse of an AR9, but it also seems to be perfectly reliable so far. Just dumped about 250 rounds through this thing. Uh, we did have the one failure, which was the last round of the magazine somehow popping out prematurely and uh, causing the gun to lock open with one round just loose in the chamber. Uh, kind of a strange failure, um, probably more related to the gun itself, which has never been the most reliable gun I've owned. But I'm sure you've heard me say that before. So, the Maxim roller delay thing. Reduces recoil quite a lot probably would be extremely beneficial if you wanted to do a lot of suppressed shooting, not just because if it delays the opening of the action, it's gonna reduce the gas blowback to the eyeballs, but just because adding extra back pressure to a straight blowback system just makes it run really, really hard. However, is it necessarily the best way to spend your money? Because it's, uh, whatever it is, it's a $200 piece of equipment uh, to replace what would otherwise be probably a $50 buffer system. So that's uh, an interesting place to sink extra money into. There are other ways to get a, a 9mm AR that recoils less. If you have a really, really cheap build and you want to stick to it, or you just have a build that you otherwise like quite a lot, for example this one, then yeah, I think it's, a, it's a, probably a pretty good upgrade just because there's really only so many ways to get you know, improved recoil impulse out of an AR-9. So I guess my recommendation is don't take the existence of this buffer system as the excuse you needed to go buy or build an AR-9. But if you've already got an AR-9 and you want to upgrade a little bit to shoot suppressed or just so it's a little more fun to shoot in general, then yeah. I'm going to keep the buffer system in there and I'm going to keep shooting this thing. We're going to be doing a video somewhere down the line about the status of the AR9 build and my uh, feelings on the AR9 platform as a whole. Try to button that whole thing up so I can never ever talk about it again. Uh, obviously going to put a lot more rounds through it. I'll keep you guys posted. We'll get an update in that video as to if it's working or not. It may seem slightly ludicrous to put a very expensive buffer system into a very cheap AR9 build. I mean this thing is predominantly Palmetto State Armory with just a hint of UTG on the front. Actually, the barrel's pretty expensive, so yeah, this thing has, has certainly gotten away from me in the uh, budget department, but the Maxim Roller Delay Buffer System seems like it's extremely well made, like the, the machine work on it is super nice, the thing's super clean, so it definitely seems like it's worth the expense. There's quite a lot of moving parts in there, and seems to be extremely well put together. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you'd like to support me, you can do so via Subscribestar, link in the video description. There's also a Linktree page in the video description that has links to various channel affiliates, sponsor people, stuff like that, social media links. So I'd encourage you to go click on that link and check out Eclipse Armory, sponsors of today's video. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.